Well, there's probably two strands to the research that we do. Um, one of the strands is trying to uncover the, the molecular mechanisms by which muscle adapts to exercise training. So we spend a lot of time taking muscle biopsies and trying to understand the biochemical adaptations of skeletal muscle. But at the same time, once we, we get this basic information, we then try and translate this in the elite sporting environment. So what we learn in the laboratory, we want to translate to improve performance on the pitch side or rink side. So I spend one day a week at Liverpool Football Club providing nutritional support to the first team players and also the academy players. And I also spend four or five days per week training professional boxers. Most people from the general population will think that it's all about the exercise stimulus. In my own opinion, I would say rather than worry about the exercise first, I'd worry about the nutrition first and then worry about the exercise because if you don't do the former, you're not going to adapt the way that you want to adapt. Before I did meet up with James, you know, I was more or less eating one meal a day and it was always of a night and, and I was just training really on, on empty. And when I got introduced to James, the first thing he, he changed with me was my diet. Um, if you look from two years ago to now, this, this structure in my body has just it's completely changed as well. Hopefully over the last two, three years that we've been working with them, we've got them in much better practices and they tend to make weight a lot easier for their fights. I've gone from really from scratch to, to the very top of my game and it's helped me progress right through my career. I think both sporting organisations probably realise the, the importance of sports science in, in the modern era these days. Um, obviously we're on the doorstep so that we're nearby but we're also doing work that really makes a difference and I think they're starting to see these small differences where it impacts which is performance improvements. Basically what I'm doing is conducting a series of studies looking at the loss of um, muscle mass as we age and what we're interested in doing is finding out the effects of exercise alone or a nutritional intervention on a particular protein. We know exercise is good for people, we just don't really know how. We're not trying to create people who can live to a thousand. What we're trying to do is create people who at the age of 80, 90, 100 can carry out everyday tasks and still be physically active. It's almost the best drug to treat these kind of illnesses. Um, so I think if we can get effective messages to people about when to exercise, why to exercise, and how sports science can get them there quicker essentially, there's a, there's a great message for older people that they, you know, they need to keep exercising. It's not just something you do when you're young. We're offering real-world practical advice and even putting on seminars in conjunction with Age UK to try and educate the elderly in ways that they can preserve muscle mass as we get older. The area of recovery has become increasingly important in elite sport um, and certainly different recovery interventions are being widely used, uh, one of them being cold water immersion. Uh, the problem with cold water immersion really is that there's a lot of literature now that suggests it, it can help um, athletes recover. What we probably don't really know is too much is about the mechanisms of how it works. Part of the work um, is, um, is actually funded by UK Sport and they're very, very keen to, to move this work on quickly with a view to informing some of the practice um, for the Olympics. So already some of the work that's come from the research is, has started to inform the recovery strategies for the Olympic athletes. By unpicking some of these mechanisms, we'll also help to, to inform physiotherapy practices in terms of treating athletes with, with injury. So during my undergraduate degree, uh, a major part of it is um, having placements within football clubs. Um, so from that, I spent six months working uh, down at Derby County, uh, and this consisted mainly of sports science support, nutritional support, uh, and, and monitoring stuff. When the students come through the doors at John Moore's University, they'll be exposed to the laboratory from day one, right up until level three, where they'll do their own major project. And also in level three, we have work-based learning modules, or we send the students out to do applied placements. Sometimes it's with professional football, sometimes I send them out to both professional boxers and amateur boxers. So not only what they learn in the classroom, the theoretical content, they also learn how to apply this in the real world, which is more or less work counts. I can't think of anywhere else that I'd, I'd go and I'd get presented with the same opportunities to work within the same sort of uh, elite level, if you like. I mean, a large part of our curriculum is employability skills, which is probably what sets us unique from other institutions especially in level three, where we place a large part of the time training students on what it's like to work in the real world and some of the challenges that they, they may face. We've got one of the best labs in the country downstairs, and there's no doubt about it. Everything you could want there is, is, is there, and also it's usable, like it's free to use. In my own opinion, there's no point doing research if it isn't going to be impactful. 
And the good thing about our group is we do the research in the lab and maybe within only a few months it's actually changed in practice. We have the basic skills to go from a laboratory to a playing field and we're able to translate this in a user-friendly manner. Our research is also cutting edge. Uh, we try to be ahead of the game, looking for innovative techniques to enhance performance. But also we have a, a number of staff, in, in addition to myself, who, who really are also involved in, in the applying that knowledge out there in the real world, um, be it in a health environment or elite sports. So the real exciting thing is, is I think, is the diversity of work, but also actually we're, we're transferring that into the, into the real world application.